Hey everybody, this is Will with Carolina Thrive Place, and today we are going to go over ba basic maintenance on your machine. It's just a couple cleaning things. We don't have a lot of time. So, first and foremost, these right here are amazing. You can pick these up at um, Harbor Freight. They're relatively inexpensive. I think they're like a few bucks. Um, so, awesome. So I already have some. I do keep a spare pack because these do tend to bend. As you can see, I do use them. I actually have some lint on it. Kind of hard to see, but oh, there you go. You can definitely see it. So I do use these on my machines. So what do you do? First off, your bobbin case. Mine's very clean. I definitely keep mine clean and I'll just take the brush it's kind of hard to see but it's getting all of the little dust particles out and I'll look inside of this part right here to see if there's any thread so relatively clean so now I'm going to bring this down so y'all can see the inside of the machine um, this video is gonna be a little bit longer because of um, some of the adjustments that I have to do So give me just a few more seconds Alrighty. So, let's get that out of the way. When it comes to this part right here, um, unfortunately I don't have the best light. Let's not drop that. But, I don't know if you can see very well, probably not, but I have a lot of dust in here, and I keep my machines pretty clean, and I ran some extra stuff just so that I can get more dust in these, so it's a little bit easier to see. All I did is, I want to make sure this goes in correctly. And I took the bed part off so that it is not in the way because um, you don't normally clean that for the he ones there is a pl you do kind of need to and I'm gonna grab this there is a wheel you see it right there there's a little wheel that can capture dust and stuff as you can see here and it generally doesn't really need to be clean. Um, this one's actually pretty good. Um, but you can just use this right here on it. If there's like any dust on it. And you can generally get rid of it that quick. And that's on the HE1 or the 4x4 so combo. <clears throat> So, how to get this out? You just pop this little plate out, like that, and this should just pick straight up. And you look at the bottom, make sure there's nothing sticking to it and stuff. <clears throat> you can use one of these. And you can unloosen these screws here. <clears throat> Just 
to remove this plate. So you have full access to everything that's going on back here. So, as you can see, I have a lot of build up. I'm just hoping to be able to put this here and not have to hold it, but it looks like I have to. So I have dust here, dust inside of that. Some of this dust out over here, not really important, but you definitely, any part that's going to have any moving parts as you can see very dusty and this is about common with the amount of dust that I have here yeah that's about common so it looks very gross but this is all fabric dust And then I use the smaller one to kind of get this part right here. Just the final touches. Just like that. Be very careful right there because that can get you. And it is sharp. And I'm pretty sure you noticed I did not use a spray um, air thing because that will push it back up into here, which we do not do. We don't go in here unless you know what you're doing. So we're going to put our pl metal plate back on. Be very careful with these screws. And like I said, this is going to be a little bit longer video because cleaning is very important. And yes, I could have went ahead and put this in there, but I'm going into reverse of what I did. So that's the whole reason. Always make sure this little white arrow here is within, because this is as much as it should move. We also look at here to look at the back and see if there's any broken parts, any dust or any issues. There isn't. So we put that in. And we can go ahead and put our bobbin back in if we want to, which I am going to go ahead and do. <clears throat> and close it up. So the second part to cleaning your machine is to run something through this part to make sure that you have if you have any loose screw or loose threads in there to kind of clean it out and I was looking for something that I do not know where it is so we're just going to leave I'm not going to do that part I'm missing my screwdriver 
because there's a screw back here that you can take this part off so you can kind of see up inside of this which is a normal thing but you can get dental floss from Dollar Tree and you can use this to run through your machine and you're going to need a decent amount because you're going to run this through the whole machine a few times so just like regular thread be very gentle and it's pretty clean so I don't think I'm gonna run it more than once okay and there you go and you just toss this away because you don't want to use that on your mouth so basic maintenance on your machine very quick very easy so if you don't mind please give this video a thumbs up please share it with all your friends and family because i think these are great um, tips for anybody and everybody who has a machine or just a regular sewing machine as well and always, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.